Hi, in this video, I just want to use some basic CAD commands to show you what you can create just understanding basic CADs. We have a lot of wizards and stuff built into the software to help uh, cabinet makers, but at some point, if you really want to be able to take on any projects at all that come through the shop or projects to bid on, you have to learn how to draw any type of geometry. So what I thought in this video, I would just draw a five point star because it requires using several different tools to, uh, to accomplish that. And it's pretty easy to follow that. So in the main window here, I'm just going to uh, come down. I'm just going to type a C in my command line, which is for circle. I'm going to click the center point of the circle. It's asked me for the radius. So I'm just going to say I want a three inch radius, which will give me a six inch diameter of the circle. And there's your, uh, there's your circle. So now what I want to do with this circle is uh, divide it into five uh, sides for a five point star. So I'm just going to type in uh, divide or div in my command line. I'm going to select the geometry and um, it asks me for the number of segments. So I'm going to type in five and there's my five sides. Now the, the problem with this is if I draw this, my star is going to be leaning. And uh, what I want to do is align this bottom line at 180 degrees. Okay, so all I have to do to do that is rotate this. So what I want to do is just take my uh, rotate command. I'm going to select the entity, a base point here. And now I'm, I'm going to rotate that. It's asking me for an angle uh, 306 degrees and type in enter. And that aligns the bottom of this with uh, with the screens, which is what I want. Uh, now what I want to do here is just take my line command. I'm going to type in an L in my line command, and I'm just going to trace my star. So I can start anywhere I like to start at the bottom here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go there, there. I'm just going to my points here, here, and then come back to where I uh, started. So there's my five point star. So I don't need the bounding box anymore. So I'm just going to highlight that and delete that. So there's my star. Now I want to trim all these center lines where they cross because I don't want those either. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just type in trim in my command line or uh, TR for trim. I'm going to select the geometry here. And then I'm going to choose what I don't want. I don't want that, that 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 okay so that's pretty cool okay but now this star is still individual line segments now to actually machine that i want to turn that into a closed polyline so i'm just going to type in polyline edit or pe for short on my polyline i'm going to select the star uh, it's asked me for a uh, tolerance i'm going to tell it 0.01 and it's asked me, do I want to close the pylon? I want to say yes. Why? Okay, so as soon as I've done that, if we click on this, here's my closed star, how all the points light up, and uh, it's closed geometry. Now, the um, probably the last thing I want to do, or the last thing I need to do with this, is just give it a thickness, whatever the thickness of the material is I'm cutting out. Let's just say it's three quarters, so I'm going to put a minus 0.75 here, and hit enter, and escape. So there's my there's my five point star. I can look at it in an isometric view. And there it is right there. So that's uh, just using some of the basic CAD commands to be able to create a star really simply and easily. Um, thank you for your time for watching the video.